Hi guys, we all love watching television, don't we? But television sets today are very different from the ones made 20 years ago. Yes, the television sets then had a box-like structure and were called CRT television sets. CRT stands for cathode ray tube, which was used to display images on the screen. But did you know that cathode ray tubes played a major role in the discovery of subatomic particles? Yes, in 1897, J.J. Thompson studied a cathode discharge tube with a metal plate fitted at either ends. One of the metal plates was connected to the positive terminal of a battery. It is called the anode plate. The other was connected to the negative terminal of the battery and it is called the cathode plate. The battery was used to produce high voltage inside the tube. A vacuum was created between the two plates to reduce the pressure inside the tube. When a high voltage was applied between the two electrodes, he observed a greenish-yellow fluorescence. These are cathode rays, which travel from the cathode terminal to the anode terminal. To study the properties of these cathode rays, J.J. Thompson conducted a few different tests. In the same experimental setup, he applied an electric field. He observed that the rays changed their path under the influence of the electric field. They showed deflection from the negative charge. This led to the conclusion that the cathode rays consist of negatively charged particles. These negatively charged particles were later called electrons by G. J. Stoney. And that's how electrons were discovered. It was later found that the electrons have a unit negative charge of magnitude minus 1.602 multiplied by 10 raised to minus 19 coulombs. Whereas the mass of one electron was equal to 1 over 1837 of the hydrogen atom. How interesting was that piece of scientific history? Next time you watch something on the television, you'll remember how a similar piece of equipment helped in the discovery of electrons. Now, time for you to get back to your lesson. See you next time.